Good news, for now. Fernando Tatis Jr. will not undergo shoulder surgery but instead was placed on the 10-day injured list with the hope the inflammation subsides and stability increases in his left shoulder, which was dislocated on a swing in Monday's game. That prompted fears he could be out for as long as the entire season. Now, the Padres hope he can return as soon as the Dodgers series that begins April 16 at Petco Park. This is not something we feel like long-term we're putting him at risk if he continues playing this season, Preller said. Quote ellipsis. There is always the chance he could have another incident. At that point in time, we'll evaluate from there. Preller indicated MRI results Tuesday showed Tatis' shoulder to be in similar shape to when he had his MRI during the physicals conducted prior to signing his $340 million contract in February. Multiple sources have said in recent weeks and repeated Tuesday that his aggravating the injury as he did Monday was practically inevitable. The question was whether it was going to happen this season or in the future. It remains possible, if not likely, that Tatis requires surgery to repair the tear in his labrum after the season, or before that. But Tatis felt better Tuesday, and the exams he underwent gave the Padres confidence their most dynamic player will still help them this season without hurting his chances to do so in the remaining 13 years on his contract. Everybody was very confident surgery wasn't the answer at this point in time, Preller said. Exactly how he's going to respond and how his body is going to respond, he's going to have all the possible information, to do everything he can to stay on the field and play. The doctors felt very confident this is not surgery right now. They felt confident we can keep him on the field and put him in a spot where he can be successful and not be in pain and not do any further damage. Outfielder Brian O'Grady was added to the active roster to take Tatis' place. Jorge Mateo did pregame work at shortstop and likely will see some time there. Preller also mentioned that Manny Machado could move from third base, and Tucupita Marcano could play shortstop or third base. Jake Cronenworth also could move over from second. It was Ha Seong Kim getting the start there Tuesday against the Giants. You're not going to replace him, manager Jace Tingler said. Now, can a group of 8, 9, 10 or 11 guys step their game up a small percentage? We do that, we think that will be the best way. You're not going to replace him. But we believe in our guys. Being without Tatis is about the worst case scenario. It's virtually impossible to spell Slam Diego with him. But it is also what the Padres prepared for when fortifying their depth in the offseason, not to mention the signing of Manny Machado two years ago and Eric Hosmer in 2018. You never want to see any of your teammates go down, especially one that's Fernando Tatis, Will Myers said.